You also had Brantley, it looked like, a lot uh -huh. uh, defensively. But I know you take pride on that end of the court, too. Did you yep. feel like you did well? Yeah, for sure. Um, I think he was the leading scorer coming in. Uh, I think he averaged 20 or something like that. And I think like we kept 30 him, in the last game. Yeah, I think we kept him at 5 or 6 tonight. Um, so I think just collectively, obviously on-ball defense is important, but just collectively just being in our gaps and, and shrinking the floor with him. Tyrese, what's it like being in Durham for Thanksgiving this year as opposed to being in a, a big-time like, tournament? Yeah, I mean, it's good. I feel like everyone, you know, we're going to have a function, like I said before, and, you know, everyone in, in Duke's going to be here. Uh, everyone's got family in town. I have... I have some of my family in town, um, so just coming together and just having a good time. Yeah, what's the plan for, for Thursday for you guys? Uh, I think we're just having a function uh, later on in the day, and, and um, we just get together and, and just eat. I'm guessing you don't celebrate Thanksgiving in Australia? No, I do, because my dad's American. I don't. Australia doesn't in general, no, but yeah. I do. Yeah. Is there a special dish that show Anything, me? anything. Last time I put on four pounds at Thanksgiving, so <laughs> I'm going to just eat. <laughs> right. Game the next day, you might not do that this time. No, nah, yeah, I got to watch what I eat. Yeah. <laughs> what was, uh, it seems like you came out with a lot of aggression in this game. I'm uh -huh. sure you've been asked that already, but what, what was it that... Um, I think just reading what was in front of me. Uh, I think I'm at my best when I just get in the pain and play off two. Um, it's a big thing I've been working on, and obviously my shots were falling, but just trying to be aggressive coming off on balls and, and just sort of trying to be a threat on the rim so it collapses defense. How has the three-guard offense changed your play this year? I think it's helped me. I think it's benefited all of us because anyone can go off at any night. Um, you know, if you overplay, you know, we have wide-open kicks, and, you know, you really have to be sharp on your rotations, which, which allows us to get middle drives and, and open shots. You and Flip seem to have a really good like two-man action going there in the second half, especially. There was like a couple of possessions <coughs> where it was just silky smooth mm -hmm. hitting. I think uh, Jared on like a wide open three in the corner. Um, what is when you have those offensive moments where you and it just seems like it's a mind melt with someone? What what is that like? Um, it's fun. You know, that's how we want to play. Uh, I think yeah, me and Flip have a good chemistry, and it's 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 taking time, but it's building and. You know, I think when we're in an open ball screen, you know, no one really can guard it, and we just have so many options. And he's so so good being a seven footer that, you know, I trust him with the ball. He trusts me with the ball. So just playing, feeding off one another, really really good for us. When you're shooting like you did from the outside of this one, how how big does the rim look, just in your mind? Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously it looks big, but uh, I'm just trying to stick my shot and hold my foot. That's the main thing that I've been working on, and, and just taking the right shots. Let me, let me ask you a defensive question. LaSalle's a team that likes to take its time on offense. Yeah. They're not an enough tempo team. Duke was able to speed them up. Uh -huh. Obviously, past their comfort zone. Can you talk about how that was able to happen and what and what benefits? Yeah, I think um, you know they're a, they're a really god heavy team. They play a lot of minutes. Um, they're not very deep. So I think we were just really lucky in our scout and our personnel and. Um, like you said, you know, we, we were just trying to maintain and guard the ball, but I think it did speed them up a little bit, and that's where a lot of their turnovers came, which, which allowed us to um, control the pace and the tempo of the game. They switched to a little bit of a zone in the second half. Could you talk about how important y'all's ball movement was to yeah. kind of space the zone and get some open shots? I think we got stood up early, and then, you know, once we sort of realized what they were in and, and just got to our spots, we, uh, I mean, we had wide open shots and wide open reads. Yeah. You guys were playing some zone there for a couple of possessions. It seemed like, is that something else like this? We were? I thought so. Maybe it's just this joint. I know when I was in, but maybe it's just this joint, yeah. <laughs> Could just somebody getting lost in yeah, 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 yeah. That pick and roll that, you, that uh, one of our other reporters was talking about with Kyle. Mm -hmm. I haven't really seen you guys do that much. I think it's just depending on how the game's flowing. Um, if we have early, I mean, we try and preach early ball screens and transitions. So I think once we, once I get rebounds and push the pace, we have wide open ball screens. Cool.